Hello, I'm Norman Wahlberger. We're here at the University of New South Wales, and this is question 34, chapter 4 of our linear algebra course, Math 1131. So the question is, find the intersection, if any, of the planes 8x1 plus 8x2 plus x3 equals 35, and x equals 6 minus 2, 3 plus lambda 1 minus 2, 1, 3 plus lambda 2, 1, 1 minus 1. There's uh, several ways of doing this problem, and I'm going to show you two different ways. All right, so let's uh, look at solution one, which is probably the most uh, direct, perhaps. The uh, observation is that from this form of the equation, we can read off that the second equation, or the second plane, is of the form This is, can be reinterpreted saying the x1 coordinate is 6 minus 2 lambda 1 plus lambda 2. The x2 coordinate is minus 2 plus lambda 1 plus lambda 2. And x3 equals 3 plus 3 lambda 1 minus lambda 2. Those three equations have the same content as this single vector equation. So such a point on this plane will intersect with this plane precisely when these three quantities satisfy this relation. So this meets the first plane when I'm going to plug these values into here. So I'll write it here. 8 times 6 minus 2 lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus 8 times minus 2 plus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus 3 plus 3 lambda 1 minus lambda 2 equals 35. All right, so let's simplify this equation. Let's look at the constant terms. There is a 48 here, minus 16, plus 3. And that's uh, 48 minus 16 is 32, plus 3. That's altogether 35. So that's actually the same thing as we have on the right-hand side. That's going to cancel. All right, what about the lambda 1 terms? There's minus 16 lambda 1 here, plus 8 lambda 1 here plus 3 lambda 1 here. So minus 16 plus 8 is minus 8, plus another 3 is minus 5. So we get minus 5 lambda 1. And how many lambda 2's are there? 8 lambda 2, another 8 lambda 2, minus 1 lambda 2. That's a total of plus 15 lambda 2. And that equals, well we decided that there's going to be a 35 on this side, which will cancel with the 35 on the other side, so just equaling 0. Clearly, we can uh, divide by the 5, so that lambda 1 equals 3 lambda 2. And so then we can describe the solution. It's all the vectors of this form, where Lambda 1 is 3 times lambda 2. Therefore, the solution is, let's write it here, the vector x, which is 6 minus 2, 3. And I'm going to replace the lambda 1 with 3 lambda 2. So 3 lambda 2 times minus 2, 1, 3, plus lambda 2 times 1, 1, minus 1. Can I simplify that? Yeah, because the lambda 2 here is appearing in both these terms, so why don't we just pull that out? Then we can write it as 6 minus 2, 3, plus lambda 2 times, times what vector? Well, we should multiply this vector by 3 and add that vector. So 3 times minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 5. 3 times 1 
plus 1 is 4, and 3 times 3 minus 1 is 8. So there is a vector equation for the intersection of these two planes. We see that it's a line that passes through the point 6 minus 2, 3, which has a single direction vector minus 5, 4, 8. So we start at 6 minus 2, 3, and we can go in any uh, multiple of this vector. That's where these two planes are going to meet.